meth in Michigan. Officials say it's making a big comeback in the state, so much so that the Drug Enforcement Agency has started calling drug deaths poisonings. As Nate Salazar found out, it has to do with an influx of higher grade drugs in disguise. Opioids uh, was a huge problem and there was fentanyl and now we're on to methamphetamine. It's on the rise in the patients we serve. Patrick Patterson is the executive director of MidMichigan Recovery Services. He's been seeing an increase in patients addicted to methamphetamine. According to the Michigan DEA, it's a trend happening across the state. 2023, we removed over uh, 280 kilograms of methamphetamine uh, from the streets of Michigan, and that's just the Drug Enforcement Administration. 600 pounds of meth, and that's just what law enforcement got their hands on. Where they're finding it is even more concerning, in the hands of younger people who don't even know what they're taking. Pills that are being laced with methamphetamine, and these pills um, target a younger demographic, whether it's a fake Percocet or Xanax. People thinking they're buying Adderall or so forth, Maybe just getting straight meth. Not to mention that it's much stronger. According to the DEA, they are seeing 98 to 100 percent pure meth coming from Mexico, and it's easier to get as drug dealers try to establish a foothold. And get new customer base by getting them addicted to methamphetamine, whether it's slashing the price or just giving it away. DEA officials have begun calling them drug poisonings instead of drug deaths. They say seven out of ten unprescribed pills contain meth, and you get better chances playing Russian roulette. And drug related deaths are now our third leading cause of death in the country, third. So the only pill that one should take is one prescribed by their doctor and obtained at a legitimate pharmacy. Here for you in Lansing, Nate Salazar, 6 News.